Alrighty. So when last we left off, you guys uh, were... You guys looted the uh, lair of the dragon, uh, slaughtered the minions, uh, and robbed his vault. It was a good day. Um, and I believe at the end of that, you guys started heading south. Yeah, on the road home. Indeed. Um, you guys uh, come like down from the mountains and are immediately hit by some like very arid uh, conditions. Like the sand, uh, like the terrain goes from like this rocky mountains to kind of a uh, like arid, sandy uh, desert, effectively. Um, and as, like, I think the sun is, you know, starting to rise because it was a, like, a night-long ordeal, um, you guys notice that it gets very hot. Um, what do you guys do? Uh, we just finished doing the, the dragon den, right? Indeed. Uh, have we returned? Are we returning back to the town? Uh, from what you guys indicated, you guys were going to go from the dragon thing and then keep going south. Yeah, I think we got a long rest and everything like that in between, he said earlier. Yeah. We can so we had to cross it. I think we were the original plan was to uh, follow the original route, which was going to go through my hometown, and we were also going to head to where after that to where Craig wanted, like the forbidden area where nobody goes on his so, yeah. personal mission. Was yeah. the plan? You guys, let me do it with no snapping. You guys are kind of like about right here-ish. Um, the place you're trying to ultimately end up is somewhere around here with the green circle uh Carithu, your your hometown is like right built like uh on the the river line or what used to be a river line all right so you want to head there and we'll take a look at what's going on uh see if we can obtain my uh family heirloom yeah, might as well. Everyone's I'll just give uh, I'll just give you the short version, just to say. Um, yeah, I uh, am not popular in the town. They got a serious problem with, uh, you know, people POTs or people of tiefling uh, in that area. So uh, yeah, they uh, they kicked me out, but uh, apparently it's getting way 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 worse. They're now potentially executing or burning people. Hmm. Um, wow. And I think what what you guys are reminded of is way long ago when, like, a band of mercenaries from this place, like, tried to attack you guys. Uh, I think that is called back to your mind. Oh, by my knowledge, do they just have a problem with tieflings in general, or are they just human racists in general towards, like, other species? Um, I think you would... So, it's been a long time since you've been here. So I think you wouldn't necessarily know what their what their deal fully is. You just know that they didn't like you, they kicked you out, and you you know, you ditched town. Oh, Dren just got back to me. He says he'll probably be here, but he's gonna be late. Okay, no worries. Alright. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. They don't like me very much. So um, I'm going to have a low profile, but I need to find this one dude who may know where my family heirloom or this uh, sword is because, you know, my dad, the demon, is a douchebag, and that's all he left me. Well, I guess we can go sneaky sneaky, detective style. Scooby-Doo it is then. Do, do, do. All right. Uh, so you guys begin uh, traveling the desert. Um, 
Go ahead and give me some survival checks. Let me see if I've still got my... Yes, I do. I still have that elf's uh, survival skill teachings. Fifteen. All right. All right. Twenty. All right. So you, you guys uh, managed to do good. Um, I'm guessing, like, you know... Uh, Zeke, your brother's able to, you know, do some creation of water. I think you guys are smart enough to know to, like, sleep during the day and travel at night, that kind of thing. Uh, it is still a lot of, uh, traveling. Um, it, uh, takes definitely a couple days. You guys dig into your rations. Um, probably one of the first times you haven't been able to get to a, like, come across a town or anything for such a long period of time I don't uh, know Zeke it's getting kind of desperate do we need to eat Gobbert it's not very I'm not very nutritious yeah He's right desperate I, mean, I, I plucked at a deer the other day it wasn't too it, was too, it wasn't that now, great what I might say is tiefling might be quite delectable Hmm. He may not be wrong. <laughs> well, this is going to turn into the Donner party quick. Wait a minute. Why are we desperate? We did a twi- We had good survival checks. <laughs> it's like, I look back at my rations. Like, well, we do have a lot of rations. Oh, God. This is like that old South Park episode. You guys didn't eat for half an hour and resorted to cannibalism? <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, you, you guys, uh, you guys keep traveling. Um, you can definitely see, uh, like faint, you know, things off in the horizon. Um, go ahead and roll a D one hundred for me. Yeah, Zeke, I'll let you do the honors. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. It's the terrasque. Twenty more than sixty nine. Right. I'm gonna tell your sister. Stop. <laughs> All right. So, oh, that's fun. All right. So, as as you guys are traveling, um, Karathu, are you disguised or are you just you know dressed for the heat? Dressed for the heat. I'm not yet at the town is when i was going to disguise so yeah i'm i'm in the open uh so i I would suppose you'd be leading the way being the one that's you know from this location um you guys see a uh, caravan of uh of people uh how far off are these people i got a spyglass i'm wondering if i can so from what it looks like it is one um like very large uh beast uh, with two men uh, riding on top of it, and then they have like some sort of like thing that they're lugging along on like skis uh, behind them. Uh, it looks like a cage of some sort. Is there stuff in the cage? Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check at disadvantage for me. Uh, do I get anything for having a spyglass? Uh, being able to actually see it, yeah. Okay, so uh, per, what is it? You said perception? At disadvantage, yes. Oh, that sucks. It's probably wasted. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, wait, it's a... Well, there you go. <laughs> um, I think you see them, and you're more focused on the uh, the creature. Um, it is, a, a sand rider, um, or other, other places know it as a, as a boulie. Uh, basically this creature that can, is so good at, like, burrowing and traveling through the ground. Uh, it's one of the, like, it's basically kind of like a, a, a draft horse or something for, from another place. Like, it's a peak method of travel. He said there's uh, two guys there with it? Yeah, two guys sitting on top of it. 
All right, I'm going to tell Zika, you want to approach him and see about if we can hitch a ride? But what do you see? Uh, a blah, blah, blah monster thingy that's a draft horse, what you just told me. A bouillet. Mm. Bouillet, there we go. Oh, reminds me of bouillon cubes. Do you, you know, I miss food. <sighs> well, let's see what, maybe they have some. There's only two guys there, so, you know, we can handle it if issues arise. Just want to take a bite out of you, bud. Just, just a little bite. Just, just a little nibble. Come on. Just a little bite. Oh, Heck God. Sh- eh, cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. So... Yeah, you know what? You know what? Maybe maybe they're <laughs> traitors, you know? I got, a, I got like, 40 spears from our last encounter. I need to sell. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go and talk to them. So yeah, you guys, my inventory. Uh, I have you guys so many spears. Them. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, "Hello, friends." All right. Uh, so as you guys get closer, um, who's who's like leading the charge? Well, I mean, I guess I'll be in front. I wouldn't say we're charging them. We're just casually approaching in a friendly manner. So uh, as you approach, you begin to notice a uh, symbol on both of the guys' chest. Uh, it looks like a uh, an anvil surrounded in flame. Oh, I think you mentioned this a long time ago to me. These guys are bigots, aren't they? The religious order of Cathay? Yep. All right. Um, oh, I'm going to inform Zeke as we approach, and I'm, I got a new plan, Zeke. I'm going to run up screaming like, Oh, thank God! You holy warriors of light, help me! I've been cursed! Oh lord. Okay. What, what, what happens after you do that? <laughs> well, I'm already doing it, so you'll see. <laughs> so, so you run up to them? Yeah, I'm screaming like I'm extremely distraught. Like, oh god, help me! Uh, whatever god it is that I remember these guys pray uh, to or something like go that. A- go ahead and roll a uh, performance check. Or a deception, either one. Well, I rolled well, so I'm keeping that. So you 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 start running up to them. Uh, I think the one the one on the right pulls pulls out his spear and like points it at you because you are you know running at them, um, but he's not really sure on whether what what to do with it. So you kind of in you come past the point. You can come past to the point where he can easily attack you with it. Um, and they're like, I think it takes them a minute to realize that you are who you are. Um, oh, that's uh, that, that's part of the muse, though. Oh, thank you, God. There's demons out there. They've cursed me. Look at what they've chilling. I appear as one of them now. You have to help me. What what what, what do you mean? Make you appear as are you, are you not one vermin? No, my name is Edgar of Toulouse. There's freaking demons out there. They started herded with their evil ways. They've gotten even more insidious, cursing innocent travelers and sending them into the arms arms of good people such as yourselves. Elves in the hopes that you'll execute them. They get a sadistic pleasure out of it. I've got to roll a dice real quick. <laughs> Alright. Kinda wish I had my exploding head still. I would totally be using it. That would have been the other alternate. So go ahead and roll a deception check. Jesus Christ. That's my good new improved deception. That's that, why I probably should have rolled this performance. And that's a four from them. So you see, the the one that's not holding the spear, the one that's holding the reins of the 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 beast, uh, like jumps down, gives you some water. Dear sir, we we can we can help you. Um, and you see that he uh, t- attempts to like put his hands on you to uh, to cure wounds. Uh, uh, question though, what's in the uh, cage, by the way? Uh, you notice that. Uh, I I don't know if you could notice it, but um, 
I think Zeke, as you're approaching and seeing this, you see that in the cage are is another tiefling and then two uh, lizard folk. Well, I hate lizard folk, so... Oh, he's like, uh, so the guy's gonna, all right, I'll let him lay hands on me and be like, that won't work. The only way is to pray to our God. Uh, quickly, we must lay down and pray to him. So they they begin, like, they, they take their uh, holy symbols and begin, you know, trying to, to bless you. And um, right as they start that, I'm going to stab the nearest one in the face. Jesus Christ. All right, go ahead and... First off, do your damage, I guess. Wait. Oh, Jesus well, Christ. <laughs> what? This was all my plan. Get close and then stab him in the back. We've done this before. Remember the uh, the like the first mission with the bridge people? Oh, we're always the good guys, aren't we? Well, I mean, these guys do have people in a cages, and it was clear they were about... Plus, remember, I know these people. Hey, hey, look. Slavery might not be bad in this area, okay? All right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I just uh, I'll just go and uh, I'll just get enslaved. Yes, yeah, that's, that's always. Uh... You know what? I'm wondering. Should I just use scorching ray and fire close range with this thing into their face? I mean, eh. it would be at disadvantage. Eh. Uh, I'll just do vicious sword sword attack and hit him with that. Well, that sucked. <laughs> so, unfortunately... Oh, well, actually, you would have advantage. That's what I like to hear. Because you fully caught him off guard. Oh, that's a little better. All right. So, unfortunately, that 14 is a miss. Um... You see that his, like, you pull out your sword and slash it across him, but his armor uh, repulses in this in this thing of light, um, and it he immediately you know is like what? And then uh, if you guys want to go ahead and roll initiative, I'll get a map created. Well, that's better. I don't what? okay so they have apparently changed some things in the last couple weeks So can you guys see? No. Yeah, I see it's black. Hmm. Hello darkness, my old friend. Performance check. I don't understand. Hmm. 
Maybe I might I might have to log out and log back in. God has left us. Ah! Only for a moment. Peace be with you. You know, Zeke, now that I'm thinking of it, I kind of regret not being like, it's this ring, this cursed ring on my arm. Look closely into it. And then Fire Scorching Ray point blank in their face. <laughs> I'm sure you would have found a way to mess it up. Yeah. No, you know what? I got good rolls on everything until it came time to actually hit them, of course. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Wasted play, and I thought it was going to go the way of the whole, you know, kill the captain and take his place with all the terrible rolls. All right. So, about right here. Beastie boys. Zeke, I think you'd be about right here. Time to use your new ninja wraps there, Zeke. Nah, I don't need ninja wraps. Oh, uh, I'm just... Because my... Because now my... My, uh... My punches are magic. Oh, okay. Well, but you can I get the key the... back. If you spend. Hmm? On crits, I mean, you still get the key back on crits, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, let's see. And then what was the initiative from... Uh... Carithel, 23. Yeah, crit days. See, I can crit on everything but the most important rolls. I had 13 on initiative, but okay. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. I can re-enter it. I can correct it. Cool. All right. Let me roll for them. Well, if it even Okay. All right. So, Karathu, that is you again. That is you. All right. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, um, steady aim to try and stab the one to the right of me, I guess. Do these guys look pretty much the same? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just stab the guy to the right of me then. All right. So that is going to hit for 19 damage. And I'll also use my uh, Whales from the Grave ability to hit the other one. And that's the end of my turn. Alrighty. Zeke, that's going to be you. Alright. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to throw my javelin at that guy. And... 
when I do it, I yell out my magical words, which is... Uh, let's see. Hey, does that beast seem antagonistic to us? Oh, yes. It is It is a well-trained bullet. I'm going to yell out... Jesus Seek Christ. justice! <laughs> so, wait. Uh, doesn't that do damage in a 10-foot line from where it's thrown? Yeah, and lightning on stuff and everything. So I think you're hitting Carithu with it, too. Although I will say he has the the thing where you take half or none. So it's not that bad. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, Carithu, I'm sorry. So which one, which one were you hitting with it? Was it this one or this one? This one. Which one? Uh, the one on the right is the one I hit with my sneak attack, so. So, uh, which one was it? So, oh yeah, sorry. So I, I was attacking him. Okay. So, so and he has. He to takes it. his six damage of piercing, and then everyone has to roll with that DC thirteen. They either take twenty four or twelve. Light, lightning. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. He takes the 6, and I believe he also takes the, the 16 for the lightning. He takes 24. Yeah. So he takes the 6 plus 24. So minus... Oh, God. So did the first one take, like, 51 damage? No, the, so the first one, he has to roll. Let's see. So yeah, the first guy, he just takes that 24 lightning. Unless he f fails, then he takes 12. Alright, so for that... <clears throat> You're lucky, Zeke, too. I dodged the entire lightning strike. Yeah, so he that's what I was going for. Oh, no, wait. So he takes... No, he, get, he gets the 8. Well, no, he... It's... It's since it's a crit, that's why it's 16 plus the 8. Well, no, 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 I'm saying... He, he got it's... the... 8 was his roll, so he failed. Oh, I okay. I take the first roll. So, does he take 27 from the initial hit and then an additional 24 from the crit? No, or the, the 27 is my uh, roll no, to he, hit. He, takes the 20, he just takes the 24, right? Yeah, he just takes 24 lightning damage. So, that 27 was my. had to aim. Oh, okay, yeah, I got that's you. Why I get. That's why I get crit. Alright. And that is that the end of your turn? Uh, no, I'm gonna fly up like ten feet. All right. So, Carithu, you see these guys turn around, face you. Um, both of them, uh, they pull out their their swords, uh, and their swords begin to glow. They are going to divine smite you. Oh Lord, no! So. Okay, so, and doing that makes their thing have an extra 2d8. Oh, man. I could have did more stuff. I'm sorry, Carithu. <laughs> oh, let me die! <laughs> All right. well, I'll haunt you. I can always make a... I can always get away if I need to. That's fine. <laughs> so, they're going to do a shitload of damage if they hit. Uh, uh, I can have one of them, so that'll be the hope. So the first one, his first attack is <coughs> only a 9 to hit. The second attack is uh, over a 20. Uh, the second attack hits. Uh, Alright, so that second attack is going to do 2d6 plus 2d8. Alright. Alright. 
All right, he rolled really shitty. Um, so he does a total of 13 damage to you. Okay. Uh, and then the next one is going to unleash his attacks on you. So his is just a 20 to hit on the first one. Okay. And then the second is only a 13 to hit. Okay, so the first one hits, the second one misses. All right. So from him, it is another 2d6 plus 2d8. So he does a total of uh, 16 damage to you. All right. And I think in response to that, I'm going to use... Uh, hold on. Uh, where is it? Uncanny dodge? No, I, can, I only get one. I'm going to hit him with Hellish Rebuke since I didn't die that first round. All and neither right. of them hit me as badly as I thought they were going to hellish rebuke then. On which one? The one who just hit me. It has to be a reaction to them. Um, well, either here. you can technically do it to either one of them if you wanted, because both of them have hit you. No, I guess to the one that has more damage on him then. I think the first All one right. then. All right. Wow, Wait. that was a shitty roll. I crit one, uh, and both two of them got two ones. So he has to make a deck save. Um, uh, it's a f 13 for the deck save. Dang. So unfortunately, the, does the Hellish Rebuke do half or none? Half damage. Half of it fails? Oh. Yeah, or half as much on a successful one. Or, oh, yeah. yep, yeah, half as So, it's five. All right. <laughs> Still standing. All right. That is going to be the uh, bullet who is going to. <laughs> Holy shit. That's hilarious. So the bullet runs towards you. It's going to continue that movement after it jumps in the air. It can jump up to 15 feet in the air. Oh no, it's, yeah, 15 huh. feet in the air. It this thing bites down onto you. Uh, let's see if it hits. That is a twenty-six to hit for thirty piercing damage. Mm, holy crap! I think it hits. And um, it. So after after its bite hits, it's basically pulling you down to the ground. Huh. All right. So that is going to be Karathu. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Hmm. I guess I'll. Steady aim the one to the right of me again. All right. With the uh, short sword. All right. I will say he is pretty heavily damaged. All right. Okay, I think I got him. At least the first one. So you get him with the vicious short sword. Uh, you get him right between the uh, the steel of his armor, and he goes down. All right, I'm going to use another uh, Whales from the Grave to hit the other one again. All right. Oh, 
Oh my god. Zeke, uh, that's gonna be, yeah, end of my turn. Zeke, that's going to be you. Okay. Alright. So, I am going to... Uh, just punch the shit out of this thing. So, I will say, you could end the grapple on you as an, as an action. It would just be a opposed, like, athletics or, or thing. Um... Or you can try to punch it into submission. I mean, I could probably get away with it anyways, with uh, because of my tipsy movement, tipsy sways, and all that. Fair because enough. Because of my drunken movements. Well, it's it's got you grappled. So I don't know if if it would help you not be grappled. Uh, disengage wouldn't be that. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna keep beating the shit out of it. All right, so the twenty-three is a hit for eight blood. Oh, hold on. I guess we'll count that as normal. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Say that. So how much damage does that add on to it? Adds two. All right, so minus ten. And then I'm gonna consecutively punch it again. Another seven damage. All right. And again, these are magical, so if it yeah doesn't matter. All right, and then I'm going to do my my next attack, which is gonna be the dragon slaying blows. <laughs> so unfortunately, both of those miss. You well, technically, you don't miss. You're just punching it, and you hit it like in the forehead where the the armor is the strongest. And this thing, yeah, I'm just not hitting its weak spots. Yeah, this thing's got like massive, tough scales. It's effectively like you feel the skin. It's like shark skin. Like it's got that roughness to it. It's a land shark. All right, and. Uh... That was my bonus action, so I guess that's really it. Alrighty. Um, Karathu, that's going to be the remaining paladin. Uh, he he looks to be in a pretty bad shape. Um, he is going to... Hmm. Yeah, he's going to... Cast protection from evil on himself, pointlessly. <laughs> I mean, he has it, but hey, he's a racist. He doesn't. He probably believes I'm evil. I mean, that's why he's uh, smiting you in the divine way. Yeah, I'm just saying it would make sense for him to waste his abilities casting a useless spell. So he's gonna go ahead and try to hit you. Uh, that's a twenty and a ten to hit. So the 20. Okay. Uh, again, he's lighting his sword with this uh, blinding light. Uh, it's going to be 17 damage. All right, I'm going to use Uncanny Dodge and have that. So 17, so it's down to 8 then? Uh, yeah. All right. And I think he, like, slightly maneuvers so that he can be closer to uh, his steed. Actually, he could probably get on his steed without necessarily leaving your attack range. All right. That's going to be the, uh, the bullet who... The bullet is going to. What is it, Josh? Tell us what it wants to do. It's going to 
because it's grappling you, it, it has to spend half of its movement moving you as well. Uh, but it is going to burrow 40 feet into the ground. Oh my god! <laughs> well, before it does, I'm going to stop it in its place. With a consecutive punch. Wait, ha- wait. It's bringing you with it, so I don't that, think does Sentinel... That, does that stop it? I don't think Sentinel procs. Na, 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 na. Uh, re- go ahead and read Sentinel for me. Yeah. Uh... Uh, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Creatures provoke art- opportunity attacks from you, even if they'd use the disengage action. When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against the target other than you, you can use a reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Uh... So it's not, it's not leaving your threatened area. It's bringing you down underground with it. Damn. Mm. Although it does, it does leave the knight uh, off because it it can't bring him with it. So mm. you get a you get a gulp of air before going down underneath the sand. This thing just burrowing like a like a like a worm, basically. Um, but it doesn't get to attack you. It it does its full thing, just bit trying to dig you down. Um, that is going to be Carithu. How's the knight looking? He is in a very rough shape, and his ride just left him. Okay, then I'm gonna steady aim. Actually, hold on. I just want to see what the ability of this thing is. Uh, range spell attack for each range. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to steady aim again and hit him with the uh, short sword again. Alrighty. And hope I don't botch this roll. Alrighty. 15, 24. 24 definitely hits for the 19 damage. And you, you uh, bring him down. So he's like sitting on his on his butt because his ride just left him you stab down onto him uh and then with like a sickening you know twist of the wrist he you see him go limp um is using a potion a bonus action or a standard action uh it is a standard action okay i guess that's the end of my turn then actually i don't have a bonus action anyway so zeke that's gonna be you uh, you are being dragged underground. Um, what do you What do you do? I am. I'm gonna go with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're pulling like a Gandalf, plummeting into the sphere while you're beating on this creature. Like I don't know where he's going. I'm, I'm like he's gonna have to come back up because he's probably thinking like his allies are still there, so he's gonna come back up. Well, okay. So this, let go ahead and roll a uh, insight check for me. All right, give me a second. All right. Twenty-four. So you understand that this thing. It's trained, but it's not intelligent, right? It's a monster. Um, so it would do this thing on instinct. It's it's treating you like it you're a uh, like it's prey, right? So mm-hmm. it it wants to bring you down to get you in an area where you're not comfortable and eat you. But it is an animal that has been trained, so you might be able to like with some proper animal handling or stuff, you could try to mount it and do what those guys were doing, basically. Using it as a form of transport. Oh, do it, man. It's masters are dead. Alright. Can I try using my animal handling then? 
Um, I would say try first to you would have to take end control? it grappling on you. Okay. Well, the best way to do that is I can stun it. Okay. Because yeah. I'm, and not, I don't want to like permanent stun it, obviously, because I need it to get back up. Yeah. I just need it to stop moving. Yeah. And I believe stun makes it not be able to attack, right? Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. That is that is a hit. Uh, it needs to make a con save, right? Yeah. I will say its constitution is pretty freaking... Well, that's 12. Oh my god, it worked. Yeah, I think it needed a... Uh... Like a thirteen or something, probably. A fourteen. Fourteen. So yeah, you like punch this thing right in like the break of its jaw, and it just freezes uh, as you feel like you suck it the key out of it. But right, so what I'll do, right? So let me, yeah. So I take a punch. I hit its key, breaking the energy connection, and I'm trying to like feel for its key and flow between. And connect its key to mine. I key... remembered that I should like... have studied hardier, harder at the stables. So you that sounds like key rape. So you like flip yourself onto its back and get your, you know, your hands, feathers. I don't know. Uh, underneath the uh, the it's some of its armor, and but it is not under. It is not being controlled by you. But you're in a much better position to ride on ride on it all right uh i think karathu we can kind of unless you can do anything about this uh we can go ahead and uh, skip your turn i mean i can go start trying to check those guys in the cage since these two are dead yeah or i'll just search the corpses since i'm waiting for that mysterious hole to solve itself fair enough um i'd say it, it, it would probably take a minute or so for you to uh pick the lock well, I was gonna look if they have a key on them since they're both okay. dead anyway. But you can let you can skip me while I'm yeah. doing that. So say, since it's since it's done, I'm able to get up there. My animal handling is not hard, but his turn's gonna go over because I stunned it. Yeah, it's it's stunned. Do you want me to go for another animal handler on this next so turn? You, you can either try to animal handling it or keep it stunned. There we go. There you go. So you manage to like lift up on this thing get it to get it to yield um you pull back on like the reins that they have on it and it it starts tunneling itself upwards um i think karathu as you're like searching around on these guys' corpse you see this magnificent image of the bird emerging from the underground like flying through the air riding on this uh majestic bull creature oh my god flying gophers And Zeke, you are back b above the sand. Ah, oh, good news! It was awesome. Uh, look at this. I'm searching through these dudes this whole time, kind of like blowing them off. Uh, you There's find corn. The, you find the the key. And they got anything good on them? I mean, good as a in a relative term, like they have their holy symbol, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna collect all. Money. Yeah, I'm going to collect all that up. And are they in plate mail or anything like that? Because that's all good price and stuff. Uh, they, now they we got have, a hole. They don't have full plate. It's half plate and they have a shield. All right, we're stripping them of everything. And then I'm just going to kind of nudge them into the hole. Because, you know, we already got it dug anyway. <laughs> all right. <coughs> and I'm going to so... go up to these uh, and start talking to these dudes in the cage. Say, how you doing, folks? What you in for? Greeting. Uh, you see the um, the tieflings, the first one that, that acknowledges you. Why, my greetings, friend. I thank you, thank you. Please, please let us out of here. So if I let you out, are you going to cause me any trouble, or are you going to go about your own way? Because I'm uh, I'm taking this cart. We'll we'll f I'll I'll find my own way out of here. I I don't know much about about the lizard boy, about the lizard folk. Um, and you see the uh, like the lizard folk give you like a strange eye. Greetings, human. Oh, how you doing, Oscaly? Uh, what you in for? 
our kind are apparently not welcome. Yeah, it seems to be that kind of thing to say these days. We've I'm just gonna <clears throat> lived here for thousands of years. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to those folks, you know, in the hole as they are. <laughs> I'm just gonna open the cage and be like, "Get on your way now." Thank you. Um, you see, they the the two the lizard guys take off in a different direction. The uh, the other guy goes uh, actually going to the north because there's no point yeah. of staying in you know what way. i'm gonna be nice i'm gonna give one of the swords to the lizard man and one of the swords to the uh dude and be like here you go have fun thank you we do not use swords well you're welcome anyway and just remember i gave you a gift i mean there's some in the holes i'm sure you can if you want to get those guys go and have at it they're in there you see the you see the two lizard guys start like digging into the holes to like mangle their corpse to, to to get like bone materials oh well that's great well all right uh zeke Arthur. hey, hey zeke, zeke you want to put this uh, beast up we got a wagon there uh, yes. really i don't don't really remember if people hate snakes or lizards but they're all scaly to me well they're now waste disposal all for the moment so we're just gonna keep on going on so why don't you bring over your big old friend there and pull this uh, nice little cart all right come on herbert let's get going you see this thing like shrieks as you refer to it i think Hold that on. means you got it right <laughs> can i can i see if i can figure out what its name is yeah go for it romper stopper Let's see. I mean, I whatever name, name you give it is going to be its name because they they. Didn't I know. Name That's it. what I was about to do. I was about to just pick a name randomly. Huh. huh. What? What is? Muncher. Muncher. What, what is? No, no, no. I have it. Oh, what's that Pokemon called? Garchomp. Dildo. Dildo. <laughs> That's his name for the Pokemon. I remember. Sandshrew. <laughs> 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 I was thinking Ditto <laughs> as well. Oh, there's a picture of it. that. Oh, that thing's badass. Uh, I'll call you Jaws. I'll call you uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Come on, Stephanie. Is it That's a girl? <laughs> <laughs> You're the animal handler. You tell me. Do you know? Check its junk. <laughs> oh, I did. That's where he, how do you think I guided this thing? What do you think it did to him underground? <laughs> well, I'll have nightmares for a while. <laughs> Get <Giddy> up. <laughs> I'm just going to keep renaming it. <laughs> There's no real name to this thing. All right. So you guys, like you guys it. mount this thing to the to the wagon, um, and head Come off. Come on, Garethu, why don't you mount Brittany? Yeah, get, get on up on Brittany. This is a, I'll stay on the wagon, thank you. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> yeah, the bird yeah, people yeah. have really set for bestiality too. Is now a new thing in this world. You guys uh, take it back are, to the rest of beasts. the group, and I think the rest of the group is like. <laughs> What the fuck? What is this thing? Covered in blood and all that stuff. I got a ha human hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna retroactively say I took a hand, because you know all those body parts flying that the lizard people tore them apart. So were you able to trade with the caravan? Yeah, we sure were, buddy. <laughs> yeah, they gave us a real hand, and I'm gonna ho hold out the hand to Gobert. Is that a? Yeah, I'm just going to toss it to him. Oh my god, just eat the hand. Uh, you see Gobber digs in. Very nice people. Yeah, there's a deep hole over there with more. Why don't you check it out? I'm good. Eh, lizard people, damn. Alright. Um, I think we can go ahead and call that there for, for tonight, I guess. A yeah, that was small. a good experience, and Zeke fun. just got a badass mount, so, I mean, I think it was a good day. 